everyone, Chris at Laminex. And today, we're going to do a custom universal sheet installation on this Honda tail light. But before we get started, we actually need to do a measurement to figure out what size universal sheet we need to purchase. So today, I cleaned this area all up. And what we're doing is I have a, a tailor's tape we kind of use for uh, clothing, but it's a real soft, soft, uh, basically ruler, so you can bend it and mold it around uh, any area instead of using a hard ruler. So in this case, I'm gonna use this tailor's tape and I'm gonna kind of look at this, the shape of this light. You know, I wanna make sure that we have the proper sizing and get the proper measurement so that when we order our Laminex, it's not too small, but you also don't wanna make it too large where you're just wasting extra money by buying a grossly oversized universal sheet. So anyway, we're gonna take our tailor's tape and I'm gonna kind of take it to where it's widest point. And you know, in this case, the light kind of bends out this way and, and in this way. So we're kind of gonna go around that widest point there, kind of bend the tailor's tape around it. I'm gonna overlap it by a good inch or so. It's about 14 inches. So I'm gonna kind of go up, kind of run my tailor's tape along here make sure I'm still staying in within the 14 inches. Yep, and that's about good. Then I'm gonna take the longest point and kind of bend it around here. I say, okay, it's about eight, eight, just under, just over 18 inches, but I wanna give myself a little extra room. So in this case, I'm gonna run it up to 20 inches. Gives me, gives myself about an inch on each side to handle the film with my finger, my fingerprints without getting my fingerprints on the, the adhesive part where it's gonna be uh, affixing to the light. So I say 20 inches, and I'm just gonna run the tailor's tape across the whole surface to make sure, yep, the 20 inches is gonna give me enough surface area to cover the entire light. So there will be 14 inches by 20 inches. But then we have this other piece here that's kind of separated from this outer light. We have an inner light. And it's not worth going the whole entire length here and then the entire length there. Then you're gonna have a, a lot more excessive laminex and then you're wasting money. But what we can do is we can figure the size of this, add it to the size of the outer piece, and then we can actually cut that piece off. And so it allows us to actually have a much more efficient use of the film. So in this case, I got to take the widest point that kind of curves out here, bend the tailor's tape around. So it's at least five inches and I'm gonna round it up Add it up, uh, it's about four and a half inches. So I'm gonna round it up to about six inches. I'm gonna run my tailor's tape. Yep, six inches will be perfectly fine to cover that light. And I'm gonna measure it all the way up again. All right, so this was 20 inches in height. Will 20 inches meet what I need? Sure enough, it does. So, so this was 14 by 20 inches, and this is six inches by 20 inches. So I'll just add the six onto the 14. So then we'll purchase a 20 by 20 inch sheet of Laminex. And that will be covering for this, these two lights. And then we'll have to get a second sheet for the opposite side. So we'll need to get two sheets of 20 inch by 20 inch. And we'll cut off that six inches off of that 20 inch to be able to cover this piece. And then the remaining 14 inches will cover the outside piece. And then you can go to our website, you can select for universal sheets and select the width and length of 20 inches and select a quantity of two. And once you receive your Laminex, you will receive all the installation instructions and tools for your custom installation. And now I'm gonna show you how to do a custom installation on these tail lights. And now we received a 20 inch by 20 inch sheet of our smoked Laminex film. But because of this Honda Fit tail light, as I demonstrated in the uh, measurement, so we have to now cut this into a 14 by 20, which would then remain us with a, uh, with a six by 20. So we're gonna go ahead and do, take our tailor's tape that we had before. You can use a, uh, a ruler also in this case. I'm just gonna measure six inches, and then I'll measure on six inches up above. And then you can just take our tailor's tape, and it's not exactly a hard edge to follow. It is kind of a soft edge, but, so I'm just gonna take our trim tool and I'm cutting it on, this is actually a cutting mat that I'm cutting it on, uh, but you can get a smooth surface where you feel comfortable cutting through the film. And now we actually have a 14 by 20 inch sheet and then a six inch by 20 inch sheet. And now we're gonna do an installation on a Honda Fit tail light. All right, now we're gonna do a universal sheet installation on these tail lights. 
And to make to start, we want to make sure that the entire area is actually cleaned up with any dirt and debris. So I've already kind of used a, a nice body detailer, a quick detailer to clean off, clean off the, the light and definitely the, paint, the painted area because if the laminates gets on here, you want to make sure this is all clean so it's not picking up any debris. And then we use a microfiber towel uh, to help wipe up any lint and any dust that might collect on here. Uh, you want to have it removed because otherwise, if it's still on here when you install the laminates, it's going to be trapped underneath the adhesive. So we're going to go ahead and clean this area very thoroughly. And now we're going to take our spray bar, spray mister that comes in the kit, and I'm just filling it up with distilled water or filtered water. And then I'm just going to spray the area. Just kind of just what I'm doing is just kind of giving this nice lubrication layer. Not so much that it's saturated, but just kind of allowing it so it has a kind of a slip layer. So if I need to pull the laminex back up and off to you know, reposition or, get, or it helps the moisture to evacuate out. So I just literally just kind of do a light mist onto it. And then I'm going to spray my fingers to make sure they're moist and wet as we separate the laminex from the liner. So I'm going to pull the liner off of the laminex, making sure that it doesn't pinch and bend and, and potentially mar the adhesive. Now I'm just going to lightly kind of just generally in, a, in the area, I want to make sure I'm going to be covering it completely. And you know, the, the light kind of bends this way, curves vertically like this, and then goes horizontally this way. So what I'm going to do is just kind of align it, kind of starting on that position right there. But I want to make sure that we're covering the entire light too. So, so as I bend this film around, bend the laminex around, that it still covers the entire light from top to bottom and side to side. All right, so now the laminex is just kind of gently laying on and it's really kind of resting on this high point here. So now what I'm actually going to do is just kind of spray the outside of the laminex with moisture for a lubrication layer. Then we're going to take our squeegee, our insulation squeegee, I'm going to put all four fingers across it here. And it has helped me get a kind of a thorough, thorough pressure across the entire squeegee so the, no uneven points, it's an even distribution. And I'm just going to kind of tack this down kind of around that raised portion there. So in this case, like I said, I'm going to start off in this in this main point here and I'm going to use the squeegee and I'm going to use kind of a moderate to firm pressure. And I'm just going to kind of start in the center and kind of pushing my way out and down around this. And as I'm supplying the laminex down, I want to make sure that, you know, and I'm not having to bend some folds or I'm trying to minimize them as much as possible. And I use kind of a firm pressure. And what happens is if I feel like I've got some folds or air pockets that I missed that are still on there, I'm going to pull this laminex back up and I'm going to reapply it again numerous times, right? We have about three and a half, four times more adhesive than you on our laminex than you would find on a standard vinyl sticker. So this allows you to pull this back up and reapply it again, you know, till you get the installation just right, all right? It's not just a, a one-time install. You can do this numerous times, so it's perfect. You know, so if you miss an area or a ridge or an air pocket, then you can pull it back up, reapply it again. Like I, I had a little lip here that comes back down, so I lifted it back up to make sure I get the squeegee pressure in that lip and I don't have an extra air bubble in there. All right, so I got this one surface area applied down already. We got this folding up here, kind of kind of bending up from the pressure. So I'm going to take our trim tool that I provided in the kit, and I'm just going to extend it out, you know, about half an inch to three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to lightly cut away from the paint. This allows me to kind of lie it down there. All right, so now we have this area already applied down. Now I'm going to work my way to the outer area. Lift the laminex back on, up again, and again, now I'm going to start squeegeeing around that lip and be keeping it thorough. I got a little air pocket here, so I'm actually going to pull it back up and reapply it back down. You can do this many, many times to make sure you get it to just right and to your liking. Any small air pockets and air bubbles in here uh, will evaporate over time. Laminex is breathable and porous. And so any of those moisture pockets, air pockets, small ones, with time and heat, they'll evaporate out and then the film will look beautiful. So now I'm just kind of working my way to the edge of the light. All right, so that's, now we have both surfaces, this surface and this surface applied down. But now we run into the situation where it needs to fold over on top. I'm gonna to apply the laminex up to that area. All right, so now the laminex actually, with the light, actually bends over to this third surface area on top. 
and you notice that it starts to bunch up. When you start to go around from this direction to this direction, it kind of pushes the laminates into this top part here, which makes it for a very challenging installation. I was like, I'm trying to install it around that without it coming, lifting back up. So one way we can resolve this entire uh, dilemma is to do what's called a relief cut. And since this light kind of bends over, say about, about 45 to 60 degrees, we can actually do a relief cut right along top of the, the line or the body line or the tail light line. So we can literally make an incision in the laminax that follows the, the edge of this light. And what that does is it releases the tension of trying to go both directions with the laminax. Instead, we can, it allows us to separate it and then we can use this side to go down this way and this side to go this way. And then we just kind of seam it together. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that the laminus is kind of applied down over top of it. Take our trim tool. And we're gonna lightly score the film. You don't have to cut all the way through it, just lightly score it. And I'm just gonna run along the body line here or the tail light line, take it all the way to the edge. Once I get out and past it, make a complete incision, and then you'll be able to kind of lift it up. All right, so now we have a relief cut. So now we have it separated. We have a relief cut right here. And as you can see, once I did that relief cut, now all of a sudden all that bunchness allows me to go away. So we're not gonna have that issue of that bunching. It makes it a challenge for you. So now I'm gonna pull this, pull this back up, and then I'm gonna apply this down over top of here. Okay, so now I have it installed all the way up to the relief cut. So what I can do is I can use, you can use your phone actually, and kind of use a, a the flashlight. And I'm just gonna start scoring the outside of the laminax, following the edge of the light as a guide. And again, you could use a flashlight or a spotlight to help guide you to make sure that you're actually on the actual outside edge of the light and not in too far. So in this case, I'm gonna go down. And then when I get to the end, I'm just gonna make a decision cut all the way through and then I'll be able to pull away that excess. And be careful as you pull the laminax up so you don't damage the paint. All right so now that part of the light is trimmed what we'll do is we're going to take our squeegee and just kind of run along it to make sure it's actually all applied down. Now we have the outer piece installed here and if you have any air pockets or water pockets still underneath, that's perfectly fine. The laminax is breathable and porous. So if we give it some sunlight exposure and heat and time after a couple of weeks, all that's gonna evaporate out and it'll actually look to, and disappear and look perfect. So now we're gonna do this upper piece. All right, I've refilled my spray bottle with filtered or distilled water. And I'm gonna do the same process, just kind of misting it, misting the area around it. And then moisten your fingers. Now we're going to separate the laminex, that six inch by 24 inch strip, that 20 inch strip that we had. Now in this case it kind of tucks up underneath the spoiler here so we may have to kind of start with that. Make sure we get up underneath there, lightly tacking the laminex down on that part. Make sure it completely overlaps on the widest area and we look good. Now I'm going to spray the outside of the laminex for lubrication layer for the squeegee. kind of press the squeegee in where the gap is going to be so I can clearly see where the edge of the light is at. So when I make my incision, I'm not in the wrong spot with it. If your blade is dull, you want a sharp edge on the blade here. You can remove this end and it has a little slit in there. Take it to the edge of that blade and break it away, snap it away. And then you have a fresh, sharper edge of the blade. And there we go, we have a smoke tail light installation on this Honda Fit. The smoke color is beautiful to reduce the red light and the white light on this tail light. Gives it a nice smoke look, but yet still allows for enough light output to meet legal requirements. All you have to do is wash and wax it when you wash and wax the car. We guarantee Lambin X for five years. It is 100% made here in the USA. If you have any questions about the products or any problems with your installation, just give us a call, hit us up on live chat, or email us at help at Thanks, 
and have a great day. Take care.